All right, I'm going to show you all this waveform here uh, that's created once we read a certain voltage potential on our transformer here. I'm going to start pumping this baby up here. 5 volts. 10 volts. 15 volts. And what I want you to pay attention to about right here, I'm going to keep it at 15 volts. During this pulse off time, in this instance, you have this positive polarity pulse. And then on the negative one, what we have here is kind of a also decreasing negative polarity pulse. This one is increasing, this one is decreasing. What I want to show you here is once we get to a certain voltage level, you're going to see that change. There's 20 volts. See how it starts kind of leveling out? That green one kind of levels out right now. It's at 20 volts. If I pump it up to 25 volts input, you can see it starts building an opposite polarity charge here. So we have now opposite polarity being created. If we take this thing all the way up to its maximum of 30 volts, about 29 volts. I'll pause this. We obviously get maximum production there. But I want to show you that right there. Given it's not necessarily equal, it is similar. We have a, even look at this little dip down right there. A positive and negative polarity pulse being created right there. Collapsing. On to the next. Collapsing. On to the next. But that is only achieved after reaching a certain voltage potential level. You can see this is our, what we normally get here is this waveform right here. But right around 15 volts it stops from let's say mirroring this to building up a negative polarity charge on that off time that is what Stan talks about when he says 180 degrees out of phase the, the electrolysis process I'll say it again 180 degrees out of phase the electrolysis process He's found that to be saying that in just a couple of his videos uh, during his presentations. And he talks about it a lot, but that definitely right there is what we're looking for. And that uh, from that 15 volt mark here, let's say from about right here where it starts to change. Oh, that might even be more like 10 volts right there. It's 85 volts across the cell. Compared to 147. There's 147 volts across the cell. There's 80 volts across the cell. Look how that happens. That's the magic right there of the circuit interaction, of the transformer action, the negative charges building an effect to create this scenario where we have, I can show you, five hundred milliamps going across these cells, but just obviously great production. There's no way you would get this much production off a traditional DC cell with 500 milliamps going through that cell. Physically impossible. Therefore, the electrical polarization process, as per Stan Myers, where we have equal opposite polarity charges, we have magnetic um, choking of the... Uh, Amperage, 
allowing voltage to take over, keeping voltage down through the cell to less, about half an amp, but producing 150 volts across the cells. This is the process. Now we're just awaiting our new transformer that will hopefully step it up to 900 to 1800 volts. We're going to slap this puppy on here and see what it do. Alright, I'd like to demonstrate uh, a different mode of operation here. Uh, of course, with my VIC matrix switcher, I'm able to switch around polarity in a lot of different uh, parts of the circuit. And I want to show you this one here that I come across. On a previous video, I, uh, we could see that the uh, pulses were on the off time being generated. Um, in this instance, you see that too on the negative as well. We were looking at it, how it flattened out. You'll see here, this is a little bit different. Once we get up to that uh, 15 volt range or so right here, you can see that top one, the positive end, kind of do the same thing, level out and then start creating the opposite polarity pulse. So you can see um, similar waveform, just kind of more inverted or flipped. The negative is doing what the positive is, and the positive is doing what the negative is. And we're able to get that up to, you know, 147 volts, 148 volts, 149 volts across that cell. But here again, we have the equal opposite polarity here in this instance, not necessarily equal, but we have opposite polarity pulses being generated um, and this is what that key is to getting the production um, across the cell were uh, 626 milliamps uh, we are a little bit higher production we are uh, definitely halfway through that 100 mark on our flow meter here it was bumping right to the top of that bead was at the 100 we are halfway through that bead now so this is a, the best production we've got um, at this uh, voltage level let's say um, so want to just uh, take a moment to show you that popping that back on here we're going to try to do this without popping my MOSFET here we're going to take this down to 25 volts here and uh, switching the diode just blew up my MOSFET as intended. Y'all have a good one. This is Stan's Revenge.